Welcome to the introduction to API specification Q2. This standard is all about quality management system for service supply organizations in the petroleum and natural gas industries. If API Q1 is for the manufacturers, API Q2 is for the service providers. It is the industry's first quality standard, specifically for oil and gas service companies, and it really hammers home risk mitigation, service reliability, and continual improvement, especially in those high-risk environments we often see. Think about a crew out on a rig performing some critical well intervention services. If the service quality isn't consistent from one shift to the next, or if there's no clear way to trace equipment maintenance, things can go wrong fast. API Q2 is designed to ensure every service is properly planned, completely traceable, and totally aligned with safety and customer requirements. It is about making sure the service side of the industry is just as button up as the manufacturing side. A little history on API Q2. It was first published in December 2011. It was developed because the industry realized that service providers in the upstream exploration and production part of the oil and gas sector face unique challenges and risks that needed their own dedicated quality management standard. The work on SPEC Q2 actually kicked off in early 2010. The goal was to reduce risk and boost service quality by clearly defining what was expected when executing upstream services. Things like well construction, intervention, production, and even abandonment. After the Macondo incident, API put the pedal to the metal on this, and the standard was officially rolled out in December 2011. Then, after a couple of years of beta testing and companies working towards compliance, API started offering Q2 certification to facilities in late 2013. To get that certification, companies have to have solid procedures for things like personnel competency, risk assessment, contingency planning, and a whole host of other key quality management system elements. Unfortunately, just as the big players were pushing for wider adoption, the oil and gas industry hit a major downturn in 2015, which kind of put the brakes on that momentum. But fast forward a few years, an API Spec Q2 second edition was released in July 2021, becoming effective in January 2022. So it is very much alive and kicking. The main goal of API Q2 is to lay out the requirements for a quality management system specifically for service supply organizations. It really emphasizes preventing defects, cutting down on waste, and ensuring the reliability of services. In the service world, consistency and reliability are key. When we talk about services in API Q2, what are we including? It covers activities like well construction, intervention, going into a well to perform work, production-related services, and abandonment, safely closing a well. It also includes the repair, maintenance, and configuration of any service-related product. It is a pretty broad scope, covering a lot of what happens out in the field. The structure of API Q2 will look a bit familiar if you know API Q1, 9th edition, but it's specifically tailored for service organization. It also has six main sections, one, the scope, two, normative references, three, terms, definitions, acronyms, and abbreviation, four is the quality management system requirements, Five is the service realization and service-related product. This is a big one for services. And six is the QMS monitoring, measurement, analysis, and improvement. Let's dig into the key requirements in API Q2, starting with section four. Just like with Q1, this section builds the foundation for the quality management system, but this time it's all about geared towards service provision. First, the general requirement. 
This is API Q2 saying, OK, service companies, you need a QMS too. It outlines the basic needs for the organization to set up, document, implement, maintain, and continually improve a QMS that's perfectly tailored to its service activities, making sure all its processes are identified and managed effectively. Next up is management responsibility. No surprises here. Leadership is just as crucial in service companies than it is for manufacturers. This covers top management's solid commitment, developing and communicating a quality policy that's all about service excellence, setting clear quality objectives for services, comprehensive planning, having robust internal and external communication strategies, and conducting thought of management reviews. Driving a culture of service quality starts at the top. Then, organization capability. This is about having the right tools and people for the job. It addresses the critical resources needed to consistently deliver top quality services. This includes having competent personnel with the right skills and training for service execution, which maybe WebQMS LMS app might help you here, the appropriate infrastructure, tools, equipment, facilities, and a suitable work environment that supports service quality. Following that, we have the documentation requirements. API Q2 requires a specific documentation. This may include a quality manual or something equivalent, documented procedures for all your service activities, and any other documents you need to make sure your service processes are effectively planned, operated, and controlled. Yes, service companies need good documentation too, and your WebQMS master documents app might help there. Finally, control of records. Keeping good records is vital in the service industry to show what was done, when, and by whom. This section details how to manage records that prove you've met the service requirements and that your QMS is working effectively. This includes identifying them, storing them safely, protecting them, being able to retrieve them in a reasonable amount of time, keeping them for the right amount of time, and then disposing them off properly. So clause 4 for API Q2 ensures that your service-focused QMS is systematically established, has the right resources, is clearly documented, and it gets active support from top management. This sets the stage for delivering consistent, high-quality services. Now for the main event in API Q2, Section 5, Service Realization and Service-Related Product. This clause is the absolute heart of the standard for service companies. It details exactly how services should be planned, designed, if applicable, executed, and controlled to meet both customer and industry requirements. This is where the action happens in the service world. Contract review. This is a step one. Before you agree to do any service, you need a crystal clear understanding of what the customer needs. And just as important that your company actually has the capability to meet to deliver those services. Planning. This is about detailed planning for every aspect of executing the service. It includes defining your service objectives, identifying all the necessary resources like people, equipment, material, establishing your processes, and developing service quality plans, or SQPs. These SQPs are a really critical part of API Q2. They are like the detailed recipe for each specific service, risk assessment and management. API Q2 puts a huge emphasis on this. You need to proactively identify, assess, and manage risk associated with executing your services. This also includes having contingency plans ready to deal with any potential disruptions because things don't always go as perfectly in the field. Your WebQMS risk management 
my help here. Design and development of service. If your organization designs or develops the service it offers, this section gives you the requirements for controlling that process. You need to make sure your service design meets all the specified requirements through proper planning, inputs, outputs, reviews, verification, and validation. Purchasing. Even service companies buy things, right? This covers how you control any purchased products, components, or even subcontracted services that could affect the quality of the service that you are providing. It includes rigorous supplier evaluation, selection, and keeping an eye on their performance. Execution of service. This is where your crews are out there doing the work. It requires tight controls over all service operations, making sure everyone is following the service quality plan and properly managing any service-related product or SRPs that's used, like a specialized tools or materials. Control of testing, measuring, monitoring, and detection equipment, or TMMDE. Sound familiar? This ensures that any equipment you use to verify that your service conforms to the requirements or to monitor critical parameters is properly controlled, calibrated, and maintained. This is where WebQMS Maintenance app with its function for calibration may come in handy. Service performance validation. This is a really key element for service organizations. You need processes to validate that the service you deliver actually met the customer's needs and their intended application. This often involves post-service reviews and getting customer feedback. Control of non-conformities. What happens if a service doesn't go as planned or a service-related product isn't right? This section tells you how to manage those situations, including identifying the problem, documenting it, evaluating it, and deciding on the appropriate action, like re-performing the service or correcting the issue. Management of change, or MLC, absolutely crucial in dynamic service environments, right? This requires a systematic process for managing any changes, whether it is to your service design, your processes, your resources, or even your suppliers to prevent any negative impact or service quality. Again, that MOC app on WebQMS should be your go-to for this. Clause 5 in API Q2 is all about ensuring that every single stage of your service delivery, from that first chat with the customer to the final validation, is meticulously planned and controlled. The goal, consistent quality and rock solid reliability every time. Finally, let's look at clause six of API Q2. This clause focuses on quality management system, monitoring, measurement, analysis, and improvement. This is vital for making sure your service focused QMS stays effective and keeps getting better over time. Is the check and act from the plan to check out wheel for service companies. General, this section just lays out the overall requirements. You need to plan and implement all the necessary activities for monitoring, measurement, analyzing, and improving your service quality. Monitoring, measuring, and improving. This covers a lot of ground. It includes keeping tabs on customer satisfaction with the services you've provided. Are they happy customers? Conducting internal audit, using our WebQMS internal audits app, maybe, to make sure your QMS is compliant and effective, and monitoring and measuring the performance of your service realization processes. Analysis of data. You're gathering all this data from various sources, service performance metrics, customer feedback, internal audits, supplier performance, etc. This part requires you to analyze that data to see if your QMS is doing its job, it is effective, and to spot trends and opportunities for improving how you deliver your services. Improvement. 
This is where you put those insights into action and drive that continual improvement cycle. It includes taking corrective actions when non-conformities pop up to fix the root cause and stop the problem from happening again, as well as taking preventive actions to deal with potential issues, as well as using opportunities to improve your management system and make your service quality even better. Management review. Just like with Q1, top management in service companies need to regularly review the QMS. They need to ensure it is still suitable adequate and effective in helping the organization meet its service quality objectives. This review looks at performance, identifies areas for improvement, and makes sure the necessary resources are available. The WebQMS Management Review app can streamline this whole process. Clause 6 ensures that your QMS isn't just a static set of documents, but a dynamic system that learns from experience, adapts to new challenges and customer needs, and consistently pushes for better service performance and happier customers. API Q2 really helps enhance service delivery by cutting down on variability, improving control over processes, and reinforcing that all-important risk-based thinking. This is absolutely vital for companies supporting oil and gas operations where safety and performance are non-negotiable.